This is a quick two-hour radar loop up northeast Ontario with the passage of our cold front from this afternoon. Line 1 is crossing or stretching down from Moosonee, crossing over Highway 11, affecting Hearst Capuscasing and moving towards the north and east. The second line is just west of Timmins, scoots just north of Timmins as well, with strong winds felt throughout the city core. A torrential downpour with some wind shear at the Timmins Airport, and the cells progressed towards Eureka Falls, where we did have reports of downed trees, including hail. Details coming up in a moment. Special thanks goes out to two gentlemen tonight, Rod Turnbull from my Tim and Stormwatch group for submitting this photo from the Iroquois Falls Matheson region. Two centimeters high as hailstones, supported by Environment Canada's severe thunderstorm warning between 6.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. tonight. Also thanking Weather Network meteorologist Matt Grinter for informing Northeast Ontario on down trees and hailstones with some strong winds, again, for the same mentioned region. So thanks, gentlemen, for being part of the show for tonight, and you're welcome for putting you on the air tonight as well. The story behind the storms. Three ridges of high pressure affecting the Great Lakes. Short-lived, of course. Two days worth of warm temperatures and variable clouds gives way to cooling showers and thunderstorms. Thanks in part to this cold front that's hovering towards James Hudson Bay area, if you would. These frontal boundaries, or this frontal boundary rather, was right along the Ontario-Manitoba border last night, as we discussed on yesterday's show. 20 degrees for the high for Timmins, 24 for Kapuskasing. Wind shift is known between 12 and 3 o'clock or felt across the Capscasing Hearst region first. So Highway 11 gets the cold front first. Low pressure is now over Geraldton. The second low is just south of Minnesota. This is the wall of cool air right over extreme north-northwest Ontario. The warmer air still sneaking in towards the Tivins area. By the 5 o'clock dinner hour, everything is getting organized. Showers and thunderstorms. Pilots reporting storm cloud tops between Timmins, Thunder Bay, and Sault Ste. Marie of 33 to 38,000 feet. 17 degrees by 5 o'clock for Kapuskasing with showers and some uh, moderate north-northwest winds. Still 28 degrees for Timmins, but the winds are beginning to shift here. This is the conversion line where we have the south winds coming up west of Timmins with the north winds coming up northwest of Timmins. Pretty soon we get the showers and thunderstorms over the Iroquois Falls region. 7 o'clock for Iroquois Falls, 6.04 for Timmins Airport with winds there up to 34 knots and a 20-minute long scud cloud of torrential downpours. So Timmins got affected only half as bad as what Eureka Falls witnessed an hour or so later on. By 8 o'clock tonight, the cold front is actually down past our viewing area with residual cool winds, 13 degrees at 10 o'clock for Kapuskasing, scattered showers which are still residual again ac across the broadcast region, and the showers and thunderstorms eventually make their way out of Eureka Falls towards the Quebec border. Your highs for today, again, 20 degrees for Timmins, good work up there, 17 for Cap by 5 o'clock, and the rest of the broadcast region sits with the mid to high 20s. The dew points may still remain high tonight, which means you could see some isolated fog patches before going into your open day on your Friday morning, if you would. Last but not least, forest fire rating, Moosonee, low, Cochrane, Timmins Cochrane, Eureka Falls, Capscasing Hearst, all sitting with the high rating right now. And after three or four days of sitting with high for Geraldton Longlack, you're now down to moderate. That's your report for this Thursday evening. Stay cool and enjoy your Friday for tomorrow.